The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, pushes the limits of engineering. It is the largest, most innovative space telescope ever built. About a month after launch, JWST is already a million miles from Earth. Although the wings of the primary mirror unfolded without a hitch, its 18 segments still need to be aligned to work as one. How do you align a telescope? How do you align segments in space? Um, we're doing it in a way you know, that's never been done before. Each mirror is built with actuators, so its position can be tweaked side to side, forward and backward, just about any position you can think of. We'll be figuring out how to command the mirrors to essentially go from being a millimeter misalignment between mirrors to about a factor of a million better than that, um, about one ten thousandth of a human hair from mirror to mirror. The process begins with a single star. So first thing to do is take an image of a star. We picked a very bright star with very few neighbors. A series of images are taken with an onboard camera called NearCam. We don't know what it's going to look like, so that's going to be very exciting. And the goal of this game is to find 18 images of the same star. We're trying to find where the 18 different spots of light are. And I see one, two, three, four. Right. <clears throat> Who feels ambitious enough to point at all 18 images? <laughs> The very first images that we'll get will actually be of essentially 18 separate spots that are kind of like 18 separate telescopes because each mirror kind of acts like its own telescope. So, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Once we find 18 images of the same star, eight, nine, 10, I can tell you that our team is gonna be very, very happy. 15, 16, 17, and 18 is over there. It definitely looks like all 18 segments, so that's exactly what we're looking for. I'm seventh heaven because <laughs> everything worked and none of the issues we thought could crop up did. Everything worked right out of the box. So great. But they're not done yet. The next step is a bit like putting the pieces of a puzzle together. Our job will be to figure out which mirror goes with each spot, for example, there's two mirror segments. They, they may be tilted off like this, right? So the light from the star comes down, and then one goes this way, and the other goes that way, right? Over the next few weeks, they will move the mirrors to arrange the images of the star before bringing them into focus. That one's pretty sharp. Those other ones are going to take some more work to line up later, I think. Right now, we're getting 18 separate blurry images, but when we're done, We'll see one bright star, and that's when we're going to know that we have built a perfect telescope. <laughs> then I'll be able to take the science images I'm here for. <laughs> By mid-March, all 18 mirrors are working in harmony, and JWST produces its first fully aligned image. An image of a single star turns out to be far more. This is an engineering image that was really there just to say, we focused it right, and there's a lot of galaxies, <laughs> you know? You know, the, the engineers were like, what are all those galaxies doing there? <laughs> we're realizing we're the first people that have ever seen these galaxies. Since the first Hubble Deep Fields in the 90s, where Hubble just stared at an empty patch of the sky for, for days at a time and made this beautiful deep field. We just did that in about under an hour. What that makes possible is that every field's a deep field now. <laughs> there are observations planned that are weeks long instead of just an hour. Everything about these images that I've seen so far tells us absolutely this thing is going to be fantastic. We don't know what we're going to see, but we know we haven't seen anything like this before. This is going to be transformative. This is looking amazing.